Hi guys, uh, Samixy here, or Terrakins here, uh, today we're gonna look at my, uh, I really like the Xbox, it, it, uh, it, 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 it's really better than the other game, the con 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 consoles of the generation, because, because it, it, it has Forza Motorsport 4 so, who's El Kawadui Ma Wafa 2? Uh, Kawadui Ma Wafa 3. So, that makes it the best console ever. Bye! Okay, guys, so I'm. Since I looked at the N64 video, it was like 3 minutes long. Um, I'm gonna upload this video in between. I just finished doing the Wii U one. Yeah, that's right, I'm on Wii U already. What to do? Everybody's oh yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for you, whatever. Um but yeah, Xbox 360. Um I got mine for like fifteen bucks with like ten games or fifteen games. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely worth it, oh my gosh. But the games I got were worth more than the console itself. It was crazy. Um uh, anyways <sighs> These games. I got for it. They're kind of niche games, but whatever. Let's get into it. So first off, um, the well these two cases right here. It looks like there's just one game in here. Nope. There's like a million games in here. These are all kind of kvatch though. They're all like not that great. Like Lego. I mean, they're some of the Lego Star Wars games are good, but there's just like a ton of random shisa. I mean, Modern Warfare, you know, if you, if you're in the, if you're in the need for some shooting, you know, whatever, but, I digress. Anyways, one thing I really like about the Xbox 360 is the games are dirt cheap, like, a lot of them are, like, under $10 on a lot of good games. Unlike Metal Gear Rising, which is, like, $11. This game, I just bought it because I wanted to play... Some more Metal Gear games, and for the 360, or not really for the 360, but I don't have a PS3 at the moment, and I really want to play 4, so I'm like, well, there's Rising, and I'm at the Exchange, so what the heck, Raiden, Raiden, I didn't expect this game to be that good, like, oh my gosh, this game is so good, it's so, I mean, it, it's not, like, story good or anything, it's kind of funny actually like the story it's it's so like over the top and oh my gosh it is so awesome the music is super freaking awesome super special ultra choke chocolate covered they <laughs> is super over the top uh they talk about memes in this game i know they did it in four but like memes jack uh there's lots of memes like uh nano machine sun and uh Ooh, so kawaii or something. Uh, anyways, really, really fun game. Really good. Highly recommend it. You don't even have to play Metal Gear games to play it. It it really isn't a Metal Gear game, but oh shisa, who cares? Uh, ooh, ooh. Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zeroes. Now, uh, this is an alternate case. I just like. I flipped it around because it has, like, the the other thing on the other side. I like this one better, even though it doesn't fit in with all with the spines. But anyways, this game, it's, uh, it's good. There's just not a lot to it. There's nothing to it. I gave Completely Orange a 3. Now I give it a 2.7. But it's just nothing to it when it gets compared to the big daddy Papa Pio The Phantom Pain Metal Gear Solid 5 Oh my gosh Tactical, tactical Espionage Operations oh, oh. Hard drive required I had to buy a hard drive for this game It was This game is so good And it was like 5 bucks What's going on this game is so awesome. It is. It has two discs. 
Wowie. Gosh. There's so much to this game. It, the graphics are a wowie. Golly gee. The story is, oh my gosh. Oh geez, Louise. It is awesome. The game is awesome. There's so much. It is so fun. It is crazy how good the game is for how cheap it is. This is not an Xbox case. What's going on in here? Forza Moss Warp 4. Who cares? Metal Gear Solid 5. The fans of pain was right next to it. They say the F word in that game. You can't do that. Oh my gosh, what is this? Blah. Oh my gosh, Teddy. Oh, oh, Persona 4 Arena Ultimate. Ultimax, I mean. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> this is like the most expensive game I own. It's 25 bucks now. It's for the Xbox 360 that I have. Um... I got a, this, a sealed version of this game. You know why? Because it has all these. And, and it's a it's a decent fighting game. I'll give it that. And it has like its own perk or quirks and all that. Um, it is fun. It is quick. It is spicy. Who is behind it all? It does take place after Persona 4 Arena, which I did not understand. I thought this was just a better version of Persona 4 Arena. This is Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Really fun game. If you're a Persona fan, um, if you're a Persona 5 fan, you're not gonna get much out of this, I bet, but even if you're not a Persona fan, you'll probably like it. Uh, yeah. Pretty good game. Uh, so now, before I end the video, we're going to not use a not full deck of tarot cards to determine what my next video would be uh, so next we'll see determined by Teddy Teddy's shuffling powers um, we'll do like the fool could be like NES and upwards um, you know we'll just we'll just go NES the Fool, uh, SNES, um, is, I don't know, which it, okay, well, I'll just go numbers. Fool is zero, er, oh my gosh. Woo! NES is zero. SNES is one. Uh, I did an N64. Genesis is two. I won't remember these, whatever, I'm just picking this. Alright, The Fool, what do you know? And Hermit. Hermit the purple.